yakety yak. What is that? These animals are yaks, and they come from the mountains of Central Asia, especially in Tibet and Nepal. Yaks may not look like mountain climbers, but they're able to climb up to heights of over 20,000 feet. Their legs are short and strong for climbing. They have a built-in fur coat to protect them from the cold mountain weather. Hi, I'm Jack Hanna. Join me on Zoo Life to learn more about the animals of the world. obviously thinks so. I hope he's right. Look at these cliffs. Sure is a beautiful country, though. Wow. Until the 50s, Nepal was closed to all outsiders. I didn't even used to know where it was. The between India and the mountains of Tibet. And now I'm on my way to explore one of the great wildlife preserves in the world, Royal Chitwan National Park. I hope the driver sees that truck. Thank you, Elephant God. Where's the bridge for the bus? Wait a minute. This isn't going to make it, guys. This thing's not an ox cart. All right, okay. Let me out of this thing. Let me out of here. Welcome to Traveling in Nepal. This is Royal Chitwan National Park. It used to be the big game hunting preserve of the Nepalese royalty. But in 1973, this tropical forest became Nepal's first nationally protected wildlife preserve. Now, this exotic place attracts thousands of visitors from around the world. I had the great good fortune of having B.J. Cattell, chief ecologist for the National Park System, as my personal guide. He first took me to see a prime example of what the park does, saving animals from extinction, even those that might be dangerous to humans. For our own safety, we had to whisper, because B.J. told me that this marsh mugger crocodile could be across the water and at us in seconds. It is only because of a conservation program at Chitwine that these crocodiles have been preserved. The amazing thing here is that the people who live nearby and share these waters seem to accept the need to save the crocodiles. So the crocodile was really saved you then? Ah, uh, they, 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 are, they are being saved and they're, we have been quite successful doing this. And how many crocodiles were left? Uh, less than 200 were estimated in the wild. And this is very important. We have been able to uh, successfully release about 500 crocodiles by now in the wild, in the natural habitat. Yeah. Wow, that's something. Yeah, isn't it? That's uh, almost two years old. Two years old? Uh, about two. The only place in the world this comes from is here. Right, and uh, it's fascinating. Look at the snouts. Uh, because of its long snout and this uh, uh, pitcher-like thing on top oh. of it, uh, it's been given local name, Garial. A gara means pitcher. When it grows up, it becomes like two bumps, like the two water pitchers. How big can it get? Uh, it can get up to 18 feet. 18 feet? 18 feet. Jeepers. Now over here, this is a, a different type of crocodile. Right. Is this the kind we saw in the river? Uh, we see this in the wild, yes. Well, this eats meat. It is meat. It is also in the answer. Very rare. Uh, very rare. We don't have many of these. Just what happened here? Was it habitat loss or hunting? How come the, the crocodile is so endangered? Uh, it's, it's both. Uh, uh, access uh, more approached by the human being 
and also are stealing their eggs from their nests. I've got to see these little guys. Look at all these babies. They've got Gary Owls all over this place. Well, who's ever the bottom of that pile has it made? You're warm. Next, we went to the outside tanks to see the older crocodiles. Some were almost big enough to be released. Jack, look at that. Here, Dad. No. I had one over here. Wait. Nope, I had him. We knew there were 14 of them down there somewhere. The only way to bring one out was with these poles. I just got to finish that close to one stick. Wait, wait. Yeah? No. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait. Yeah, there it is. There must be one. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> yourself. This is nice. Uh. Here. Okay, one for you. One for you. Don't be a pig. <laughs> he likes that puppy. <laughs> the poly style. BJ was bringing me to a remarkable place, the village where the Thiru, the traditional people of Chitwan, breed and train the great Asian elephants. Hello. BJ introduced me to the leader of the Thiru community. So can you ask him, ask him if I want to buy an elephant for our zoo or if I just want to buy an elephant to ride around on? How much would that be? We walked through the village to where a special ritual was about to take place. A two-year-old elephant was to be ridden for the first time. Now, this is the one they're training now, this little one? This is a little one. Hello. Hello, baby. Hello. 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 Oh, I love elephants. 
They are they're really cute animals. We've seen so many children here. They, they start from how old? They're born in elephant camp. They live with the elephants. And when they grow up, uh, they start uh, driving and uh, managing elephants. Work with the elephants. Work with the elephants. What is this here? Uh, well, elephants are considered as a symbol of Lord Ganesh, uh, God. So now he's worshipping Ganesh to have this elephant uh, safe and sound. And now he's going to jump on it. He's going to jump on it. And they train him to ride? Right. Now they are ready to tell elephant the stories. Basically, this training is to overcome all these fears, uh, fire, noise, and uh, people believe that uh, it will collect intelligence from this. Well, they understand the value of you. Um, they consider it as their duty, as part of life. They live with the elephant, they die with the elephant. So they, these big elephants know they're training a little elephant. Right. right. <laughs> It's gonna be a good one. Name it Jack. Jack. A Jack man do. It's it's a female. Oh, it's a excited about, going out to try to find the greater one-horned Asian rhino in the wild. Okay. The only way to do that safely was from elephant back, and I was ready. Some park guards told us that a mother and a baby rhino had been seen just yesterday. The mother was a baby? Yeah. Wow. It's a big bit. Now, how big a park is Chipmunk? 10 and 60 square miles. There may not be any rhino around here, but they are... You would be surprised uh, that last night we had rhino right in our camp. Right in the camp? Right in the camp. Who was that? That's oh, a deer. <laughs> I thought it was a rhino. Almost. That's how so excited I am. How many rhino are in Chip One? Uh, right now, it's been the uh, last census, uh, showed some, somewhere around 350 to 400. So the population came up? It came up after the establishment of the national parks and complete protection. Now the population is pretty good. It's pretty comfortable up here. Yeah, when, once you get used to it. Yeah, yeah, just get used to the rocking. You get a little motion sickness. Now, this open area here, would this be the area for the rhino? Right, this is the prime habitat for rhino. Think we'll see one? If we're lucky. Oh, 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 Let me see. You need to go point. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. 
good elephant. <laughs> now, was there ever a time when, when the elephants were wild in here? They were, they still, they still are. But just not as many as there were years ago, I guess. No. No. Because the elephant is a, me a major means of transportation for these people, isn't it? These are the land rovers of the jungle. And these people worship these animals as well. Well, maybe that's the reason why you're trying to protect them more than other countries, is because you worship. Now, what about the, the rhinos? Are they afraid of these elephants? No, both of them uh, are kind of scared of each other. But... Right. Okay, listen, listen. Right over there, right over there. Is this one of these guys in the tree? The rhino's gonna get him? Huh? Is that one? Yes, 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 yes. Well, that I don't do. Okay. Yeah, he said. The rhino's coming out? Yeah, he is. He's still alive. There's one right over there. 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 There it is, right there. Right there. I see it right in front of me. Never thought I would see this in the wild. This is something. Now this rhino is right here on the outskirts of the park. Right over here is like some farms and stuff. Do the, the people fear the rhino? Sometimes they do, but uh, at the same time they know pretty much that this is an endangered species and this should protect it. Now look, look coming out of the woods here. This is amazing. A guy with hay, two people walking, and a wild rhino. Rhino! Rhino! Go ahead and say that! Well, they're, 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 they know there are rhinos around. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's really cool existing. Yeah. That's very distance. I was so used to it. You see how the people of, of Nepal get along so well with their animals, you know? It's, yeah. it's amazing. That's probably why it all works, because you respect the animals. That's right. Later on, we came upon a whole group of rhinos. Baby. Yeah. Oh, look at that. How old? Two months? Well, I'll tell you, I, I appreciate this. This is, I never thought I'd see this side. Oh, that is cute. Oh, that's beautiful. 